Hello, this is Brian from Pipeline FX. Today I'll be demonstrating how to render Cinema 4D projects with Cube. We'll start by opening the Cube interface. While that loads, I'll mention that Cinema 4D is somewhat unique in the fact that it renders on both OS X and Windows, but the command line interface is slightly different for each operating system when you're rendering in the background. For this reason, we've provided two different submission interfaces, one for OS X and one for Windows. Today we'll use OS X. To render a Cinema 4D scene, you need to set the version. I have R12 installed on my machine, so I'll set R12, I'll click Set Defaults, and then I'll never have to set this again because it will be a default. Once that's done, I only need to set the required parameters, which are listed in red, range, and render file. Now I can type these in by hand, or I can have Cinema 4D do it for me if I submit from the application itself. Cube provides an application submission for Cinema 4D under the file install app UI menu, and then we have either OS X or Windows app UIs. We'll click this, it'll ask me for the scripts folder for Cinema 4D. I can choose either the application scripts folder, which is selected by default, or I can choose my user scripts folder in my home directory. If I choose the application script directory, it will be available for any user on this machine. If I choose my user scripts directory, it'll be available only for me. I'll choose the application script directory, click OK, and now we have an application submission in Cinema 4D. Let's load it up and we can have a look. An application submission in Cinema 4D is under the Python menu, Python user scripts, and now we have Cube Submit. We can submit to either OS X or Windows workers. To see it in action, we can load up a scene file. Now the render settings are already set for this scene, but I can change them. Go into my render settings, I can change the output, and in fact, I will change the output. In fact, I'll also change the naming convention to something that I prefer. Close this out, and now I'm ready to render. Under Python, User Scripts, Cube Submit, we'll submit to OS X workers, and now you'll see the same dialog that we saw before will come up, but the submission parameters will be filled out for me. Now if I'd like, I can override any of the render settings that I saw in my render settings dialog with information that's in here. So I have the multipass rendering, I can change the format, I can change the output resolution, I can even control the number of threads on which it renders, and in fact, I think I will. So from here, I just click Submit, and we'll see in the cube interface, there it is, if I hit refresh, we'll see my job running. Now in the cube interface, on the left hand side here, we have a list of our jobs, below we have a list of the frames, I can hit refresh, we'll see that the, that, uh, the job is updating. I can go to my standard out and see the textual output that's generated by the application, I can go to standard error and see any sort of error logs that might be coming out of the, the application. I also have frame times, so I can see how long each one of the frames are taking, and if you'll pardon the fan of my machine, it's starting to kick up because we're rendering now. Uh, and we also have the job timeline that shows you each one of the CPUs that are rendering my machine, how they're doing, and how fast they're going. Now once the job has been submitted, I have control over the job still. I can change things with it. I can modify the job. I can change its priority to give it uh, quicker access to the CPUs on the farm. I can change how wide it is or how many CPUs are rendering my job by changing the number of sub-job slots. Uh, I can also control the host that goes to groups, uh, we can get into priority clusters, and we can even reserve licenses. Looking more at the cube interface, we can go and see, we can go to the running tasks, we can see which machines are rendering my job, uh, we can go to the worker list and see all the machines that are available on my farm and what they're doing. Otherwise, uh, we'd want to just look at the job and check its progress. So again, uh, look at the frame times, we can see that the job is moving along, I can go and see individual frames if I look down here, and in fact, I can scoot over to my output directory and I should see my files starting to appear here. Now this job could be running on many computers, it can be running on just one. It could be running on my own computer or I can offload it to other computers. So this then is the basic overview of how to render Cinema 4D projects in Cube. If you have any questions, please send us an email. Check out our website for more information.